Worst travel nightmare? Hmm. I can't really think of a. Re I've actually been very lucky, but now that saying that, my next trip will be hell. Yes, sure. Well, it was important to to uh, readdress the way they were making the film, which was it can't just be a flat-out comedy. You have to actually address. You know what people are going through, and I, it, that seemed to be the smart way to do it. Jason was very smart in trying to bring in real people and talk to them, and I thought that was a great way to do it. Um, not dying. <laughs> that is the secret of longevity. I've learned. Where well, I'm learning now. Um, and long, not dying, and uh, I think drinking helps too. I found always, always helps. Keeps you young. Hey, Hi, George. how are you? Kelly, nice to meet you. Did you hey. relate to your character in any way? In nope. This film at all? Same height. <laughs> <laughs> same That's hair. About it. Yeah, pretty much the same hair. I got a new toupee done. <laughs> yeah. Oh, pardon me. Hi, <laughs> 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 <Hey>, brother. <laughs> how are you? Great. <laughs> Jesus Christ, God, you look cool. It's exactly the same. Danny, by the way, just yeah. shot me in the back as he walked by. Pinpoint the exact moment for us when you know that a film is going to be a great film as opposed to a not so great film. Um, right about 10 years after it comes out. Oh, really? So yeah. you won't know this till 2019? Yeah, exactly. It takes a while. Because, you know, there are films that are really very popular for a moment, and then they aren't necessarily, they don't necessarily work 10 years later. Okay. And then there are films that end up working much better. You remember, nobody went to see The Big Lebowski when it first came out. Right, right, you know? exactly. That's so interesting. What made you want to do it? You know, you know it's, a, it's, a, it's a strong lady lady character. She's got a wicked sense of humor. She's, she's just as fast-paced and, and tempoed as, as uh, George's character. She's, uh, look, she, she sticks up for herself and her needs, and, you know. Um, she's someone who sort of has self-integrity. I like that in a, in a female character. Someone who's true to herself and what her needs and desires are. And sort of has the world accommodated on all levels. The script is absolutely gorgeous. It make, it moves me so much, you know, I love everything about it. And, you know, specifically this role is such a rare thing. You know, I've read plenty of screenplays and I can tell you that young women don't get this much to do in most screenplays. It's, um, it's incredibly rare and I'm so grateful to Jason for writing a fully fleshed out female role for, for this age. It's very, very cool working with him and in fact it kind of worked I think that I was playing his little sister because I look up to him so much and I have this sort of hero worship vibe anyway so I don't know if I was opposite him as a leading lady I might be a little bit too much like oh. so it kind of works to be his little you know that's, impressed little that's sister. That's cool. Did he give you any big brother advice at all while you're working on this film? It's really like this what I like. No? Not really. Okay. You know the whole process it was just a really fun project everybody was really nice involved and uh mm -hmm. you know i get my character gets married to yeah. melanie linsky's yeah. character in the film and uh the way uh reitman yeah. filmed that was he just made us run through a wedding for real really and, uh, yeah we just, they just had cameras going and uh so that was interesting to have a, a practice wedding i liked it yeah. <laughs> Thank you. But the thing about your character, I'm sure lots of people would tell you, and I've been telling you, 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 i have